This area of land, known as the Glory Hole, saw some of the bloodiest fighting of the First World War. The work that's been carried out here shows that in places the front lines were just a few yards apart, and very often they were stalemate. The armies weren't able to move at all. So their commanders looked for other ways of breaking through. And 80 foot below us here, the archaeologists are exploring the underground war. Every day down here gives the archaeologists another piece of the jigsaw. This is a rough plan of the tunnel system that we're in. The shaft I came down is here at the letter W, and this line here shows a tunnel running right underneath the front lines, the old front lines, in fact, parallel to them, but below them. This section of it extends right under the village of La Boiselle, right across to another huge mine crater over here. This whole system probably covers around eight kilometres of tunnels. This is one of those fighting tunnels, or what remains of it, and uh, it contains just one tragic story amongst so many. These are the pictures of Sappers Parks and Lane. Sapper Parks, four children, Sapper Lane, six. Both buried when the Germans blew this tunnel in. And today, those who've come back to explore the tunnel complex have laid their own tribute to those men.